hello hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i am kind of late posting my videos so i'm definitely going to be doing this back to back video thing this week because i was not able to post yesterday i was just out of it as you can tell i'm losing my voice i thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and if you are new to my channel please comment like let me know that you like it um and subscribe to my channel don't forget to ring the bell because then you'll be updated to what i post weekly i am working on more content to post out um, more on a more on a consistent daily basis right now i post twice a week today is just once this week um as i get ready for content for next week so um basically on my this is my typical Wednesday, wisdom wednesday is to be um careful about your tongue there is death and life in your tongue there is power in your tongue and what you say and in the and then to be quick to listen and slow to speak so we go through life so much complaining and having a negative thoughts and speaking those negative thoughts out loud we as women we like to nag our husbands and um go on and on and on and on even in our male female relationships if we're nagging if we're harping on things all the time there you know if even if you wanted that to be your husband he's still looking at how much do you complain how much you know what can you bring to the table as far as speaking life into the family household so those waiting for marriage we need to really think about that um if we're not living in what we want we won't get there we have to just be in that space already. Be in the positive. Be proactive. You want a husband? Then stop nagging. Stop complaining. You want a good father for your children? Stop Stop nagging. Stop complaining. You want a wife? Be careful of the things that you say. Be sensitive to her emotions and what she has on the inside and what she has to say. Give her a voice. Let her be herself. Stop doing so much talking and trying to tell her what to do or what not to do. So... Um, Proverbs 18 21 death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit when you're speaking from day to day basis what do you want to speak what do you want to speak um, what kind of fruits do you want to come out of the situation if you speak negatively you're going to get negative things you're going to get um, you know people being jealous or you're going to be jealous of them you're gonna get haters. You're gonna get. You're gonna become bitter. Maybe you're gonna have that hatred feeling in your heart. So, what are some things that you can really say in your life to be positive? Simple things like I will never get the job of my dreams. You probably won't. I will become the CEO of a five fortune, five hundred fortune company. You probably will if you speak that every day. I'm so tired. I'm so tired every day. Oh my gosh, I'm just tired. Now you feel tired. I am full of energy and I am full of life and I'm just going out here to live it. That's what you're probably doing. So these are things that you have to um, be aware of. In James chapter 3, verse 9 through 12, it talks about um, how fresh water and salt water don't mix. With that same tongue, you cannot give praises to God. You cannot give praises to your family. And at the same time, destroy it with a negative term. It just doesn't mix. You can't mix bad fruit with good fruit. You have to choose which one you want to do. So if you go ahead and you're praying and you're asking God for something and you turn around and say, no, nah, that ain't going to happen. You're, you're, you're double-minded. He cannot acknowledge double-minded. If you ask him for a spouse and then say, oh, I'll never find my spouse, you kind of act it. The, the positivity that you put in the atmosphere and now it's going to become negative you probably won't find your spouse so what exactly can you say from a day to day basis you need to be in prayer about it uh, one thing that I, I read today was to asking God asking God to let you be quick to listen and slow to speak to help you walk in love and manifest the fruit of your spirit on a daily basis you want god's love you want god's spirit to be uh, rained on you to help you get to the next level of life or where you want to go but that's not going to happen until you change some of the things that you say uh, when i was a young girl i um just remember saying so many different things one thing that i said was that i want to have two boys and a girl i want my boys to be older than my daughter because 
they'll be able to protect her. And I don't have a little girl yet, but I do have two boys. And I don't know if I will have a little girl. However, I just wonder because I put that in the atmosphere. I was something kind of like a positive thing and how I structured my family that I would get married, that I would have two boys, that I would have a little girl. But somewhere after I said I was going to have two boys and a girl, right, I, I made a comment after that saying that I probably will never get married. And so with saying that, I'm still not married, and but I have two boys. I don't have a little girl, but I'm not married, okay? So I, I originally stated I am going to get married and have three children. And then I turned around and said, I'm still going to have the kids, but I may never get married. Okay, so I could be delaying my spouse, even though deep down inside I want to be married. So that's that's what I want you to start thinking about. I want you to go back into some years and think about what you have said in the past that may be hindering you today. That is the trick. That's really going to matter, and that's going to help you flourish to get to the next level. Okay? Um, you want to be producing good fruit. You want to be focused on the positive. You want to start speaking affirmations over your life. If you're depressed, you want to speak that you're full of life and, and depression no longer reigns upon you. Okay? Um, just struggling with, with depression, I would I would say, oh, I'm so sad. I can't make it today. I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. Oh, I'm just so depressed, blah, blah, blah. And I was depressed every single day. I woke up for years, depressed, depressed, depressed. And then one day I was like, I can't do this anymore. I'm so tired of just being depressed. Like, I got to have life. And so I wake up every day and I find a reason to have life. I, I find a reason to smile. I find a reason to keep going. So you have to do the same thing. Um, slaying the, the uh, spirit of discouragement. The enemy comes in and will make you tired. And if he can make you tired from the things that are going on in your present moment, he'll get you discouraged about the future. But you have to keep um, in the word, stand in the word and stand on God's promises to know that your current situation is not your end. Your current situation does not, isn't going to keep you where you are. It is if you allow it to, but if you want, if you really, really want out of that situation, you want to choose life, you can, you can, and you won't allow that discouraging feeling, that discouraging spirit to come over you much further than what it already has. And God will open up doors. Like if you look behind me right now, look at the sky, look at the sky behind the trees. When you're first walking into something, it's cloudy, it's scary. You're walking into a forest and you have no idea what you get ready to walk into. But look how bright it is behind me. You see the light, first is shade, first is darkness. First, you gotta get through that part of it. What do you what are you going through right now that does you can't see the light? But the light is back there. And and back there, it's an open field back there. I just gotta get through those trees. Behind the trees is where my light is, is where my blessing is, is where my spouse is, is where my children is, is where my marriage res restoration is, is where my depression is not. Okay? And that goes for you. What are you battling in your life? Where are you going to go in your life? But you first have to get through the shadowy trees, through the darkness. You first have to allow God to help move you from that area so that you can get to the light because there's light at the end of every tunnel, late in the midnight hour, when you're at your at, at the end of your ropes and you don't know where to go. You can't keep saying, oh, my life is over because it's not. You have to speak it because there is death and life that lies in the power of the tongue, okay? Know that and stand on that word. And I, I just love the example God just gave to me because that is a beautiful scene behind me. I just love it. I mean, I love how the sun is just coming down and just showing you and proving to you even in this moment that whatever you're going through, it's not going to last forever. Stand on his word. You don't know his word. Find somebody who does to help you get through it. Open it up and just start in Genesis. God, what do you want me to know about the beginning? No, you don't have to be saved. You don't have to know everything. I don't know everything and I'm not perfect at all. I make all the mistakes and I still have to learn whether I should be positive or not positive and what to speak over my life and what not to speak over my life. But what I do know is that there's light on the other side of that forest. There's light on the, all over through those trees. It's dark in it, but there's light after it. So I pray over you tonight. I pray that God just blesses you, um, that you are filled with the Holy Spirit, that you're filled with joy, filled with life. You don't have to be a believer to hear my words. You just have to know 
that there are people praying for you. And if you're not there yet, you might you might get there, you may not get there. But I want you to know that there are people surrounding you because it's people like myself and some of my friends that we just pray for everybody because we got we have God's love. God fills us with our Holy Spirit for those who may not have it yet. So don't tune me out because I'm praying. And don't tune me out because I've mentioned God. Don't tune me out because of those things. Look deeper into the words that I say to you because they, there's something there that that I don't write this stuff down. I don't I don't do any of that. I just let it flow out of my mouth and out of the out of my tongue. And if that's what God is explaining to me, He doesn't wake me up at 3 a.m. for no reason. He doesn't wake me up at 6:30 a.m. for no reason. I am praying for you, and I am inter um, intercessing for you so that God can can come down and random pull His blessings down upon you. So just know that God is there for you. God God wants the best for you. God loves you no matter what you're doing, what situation you're in, how dark it is, what what you've done. He loves you anyway. He cares for you anyway he's just waiting on you he's just waiting on you so i love you i will see you in the next video and i hope this has inspired you pay attention to the trees and the light i'll see you next time